Alderaan certainly is the prettiest world on our itinerary. Don't let all that breathtaking scenery fool you, though. This is the most dangerous planet of the core worlds. The nobles here could teach the Sith a few things about backstabbing and assassination. Ah, oh, there's always a catch, isn't there? The planet would be a paradise if it wasn't for the people. Every so often, the noble families spill their bloodlines fighting for the throne. The current succession war is the bloodiest on record. Since the Empire arrived to put its own puppet in charge, there's no telling who will come out on top. Who's the big shot around here? House Algo seized the throne, but maybe not for long. The whole planet's a war zone. The first time I visited, I thought all the nobles were so glamorous. Then I saw the truth. These people don't know how lucky they are, or what they should do with their fortunes. They don't deserve to rule. These nobles really upset you, don't they? I couldn't care less about them. All that matters is getting what we came here for. Your first delivery is a piece of glaze cake. All you have to do is escort that antique power droid to House Organa's castle. Since House Organa runs this spaceport and their castle is right around the corner, dropping off the droid should be a quick run. Got any info on House Organa? They like to present themselves as the good guys, but they're pretty shrewd politically. You won't be dealing with them, though. The droid belongs to a couple of young nobles, Len Teron and his sister Sidonia. Decent people, all things considered. Got it. I better get moving. You made a deal with a woman named Risha for this droid? I'm here to collect. Welcome home, you ugly little thing. I mean the droid, of course. This is no time for your juvenile jokes. We should properly introduce ourselves. I am Lady Sidonia Terran, Herald of the Gold Aurora. And I'm her brother, Lord Len Terran, Warden of the Eternal Flame. Please call me Len. It's an honor to meet people with such fancy titles. Titles are a credit a bucketful here. If you want one, I have a few I'm not using. My brother and I are all that remains of House Turan's noble bloodline. One of Alderaan's more reprehensible pedigrees, House Bailis, slaughtered our family and seized all our holdings. You still have this old clanker, for whatever it's worth. This droid holds new hope for us, literally. Centuries ago, our ancestors hid something inside it for safekeeping. Pirates absconded with the unfashionable machine generations ago. Tracking it down has consumed our family since before we were born. What that droid contains will rebuild House Turan, but we need instructions to safely open the hidden compartment. It's rigged to explode, you see. The instructions are at our family's estate, now occupied by House Bayliss's forces. Without those instructions, we can't pay you. Are you looking to hire me? You're obviously talented at acquiring things. The instructions we need are in a datapad of Tehran family history at our state's library. If you retrieve that datapad, we'll add a substantial bonus to your payment. And there are some additional family heirlooms we'll pay you handsomely to recover while you're there. What am I looking for, exactly? They'll be the valuable-looking things surrounded by guards. Sidonia, it's almost time for that meeting with House Organa. Why don't you go chat with them in my place? How shocking that you'd rather stay and entertain a female guest. Very well. I'll return as soon as I'm able. I should be going too. Oh, perhaps later then. Do be careful out there. Rumors are filling the hollow frequencies of a daring robbery at our old estate. You've set a lot of tongues wagging. House Bayless is missing a data pad from their new library. I let my dear sister have the honors. Never could decipher that blasted thing. It's a simple code, woven through the genealogical entries. You just have to assemble the letters correctly, Len. I can't wait to see what's inside. I hope it isn't a huge explosion. That would be anticlimactic. According to this, we must pry open the droid's ventral servo motor housing and disable its lateral conduits. The hollow chip is hidden within a false power storage unit behind a detonite charge, entering the disarm code. I've got it! After all these centuries, we finally have our proof. The information on this holochip chip proves House Turan is owed a considerable number of credits. When the other families hear of this, we will reclaim our status among the nobility. Oh, I guess congratulations are in order. 
Please, there's no need. We're just happy to be rich. I must leave at once to have this data authenticated by the Royal Council. Len, see to our hero's payment. Nothing would please me more, dear sister. <laughs> I may not need you for a while. Well, here we are. Perfect. I have a little surprise for you. Surprises aren't really my thing. I think you're going to enjoy this one. I've arranged a private dinner in your honor. House Organa's chef is the best on Alderaan. I even hired musicians to serenade you. We'll eat, and talk, and dance, and, well, who knows what else. Thanks, but I have other business. Ah, I see. Was it the musicians? Too much? Never mind. I understand. Here, take this data pad to your associate Risha. It contains one of House Turan's old family recipes. The design for a powerful anti-radiation shield, which makes a starship immune to all sorts of nasty cosmic rays. That could come in handy. I can't imagine what you'd need something like that for, but I'm sure whatever it is will be quite exciting. Once you add your bonus for recovering heirlooms from our old home, you'll find you've done quite well. You have House Tehran's deepest thanks. Someday you'll have powerful friends on Alderaan. Farewell. You got House Tehran schematic. Perfect. That wasn't too bad, was it? Ask me again when the bruises heal. I sense there's a long story to go with those bruises. Your next delivery is to take that head in the jar to a sniveling little stuffed shirt named Pima Ahuff. Pima is at House Alda's estate. You'll have to sneak through some tough battle zones to get there. Why sneak? When I have a Wookiee? You two make such a cute couple. Can't wait to ditch that creepy head. I swear its eyes follow me around the cargo hold. This is one delivery I recommend keeping covered. Let's not upset the locals any more than we need to. Good luck, Captain. Guided tours of House Alder's Royal Museum are closed until further notice. Scoot along and don't be a bother, otherwise you'll answer to security. Do you want this head in a jar or not? I most certainly do not. Get that disgusting thing out of my sight. I mean, really, what sort of buffoon brings a counterfeit head and expects payment? House Alder has already obtained the head of Darth Bandon, thank you very much. It was genetically authenticated by one of my conservators yesterday. You're being a fool. How dare you? House Alder does not make mistakes. Cadrith? Cadrith, come here! Yes, noble curator. How may I serve your impeccable rectitude? Where is Neva? I want her to run the genetic authenticator on this head and prove it's a fake. I haven't seen Neva since she authenticated the other head yesterday, noble curator. I sent a message to her holo, but she never replied. I smell a womp rat. This estate is vermin-free, I assure you. Cadrith. Perform a genetic authentication on this head at once. Compare the results to the head we received yesterday. I beg your patience, noble curator. This process will take some time. I'm afraid we have a slight problem. This head is a 100% genetic match for the Sith Lord Darth <gasps> Abandon. I retested the head Neva verified yesterday. And it does not appear anywhere in the Genetic Authenticator's database. Tell me who delivered that fake head. The same man who promised he could obtain it. Captain Skavik, this is Noble Curator Pima Ahoff speaking. I demand that you return the Arcanian Hyperdrive at once. The head you bought it with is a counterfeit. Oh, sorry, Pimi. I have a strict no-refunds policy. Hey, Captain. You're a little late to the party. I should have known you were behind this, Skavik. I promised you'd regret crossing me. Hope you don't mind, Pimi, but Neva's taking an early retirement. She's too gorgeous for life in a museum. 
What? You... You menace! You corrupted that girl! Wasn't that hard, trust me. <laughs> whoa, 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 easy there, Scruffy. I see your taste in friends hasn't improved, Captain. I think you should get to know Bodar better. Ah, uh, no thanks. I wouldn't want to catch any fleas. <laughs> I wish I had a hollow of your face right now, Captain. That expression is just priceless. Have fun eating my vapor trails. This is unthinkable. Skavik has committed a grievous affront to House Alda. Send some guards after him, fast! I'll inform House Organa's spaceport security, but I can't guarantee they will intervene. Skavik received the Arcanian hyperdrive at the spaceport yesterday. If he's still there, he must not have finished installing it. Skavik cannot leave Alderan without a functioning hyperdrive. Hurry, catch him before he escapes! Whoa. You didn't waste any time, did you, Captain? Bet you ran quicker than a varactyl on hot sand. Not that it mattered. <laughs> yeah, sorry I can't be there in person, but my sweet little Neva is very sensitive to violence. Don't worry, though. My friends here will show you a good time. What's wrong? Afraid to face me yourself? Uh, it's just... This way, I can watch you get slaughtered from every conceivable angle. Isn't technology wonderful? Captain, say hello to Sergeant Dutonian and his men. They were working freelance for the houses, but now they work for me. <laughs> Sergeant has graciously accepted my contract, on very short notice, I might add, to vaporize you. I'm giving you mercenaries one chance to surrender. Skavik didn't tell us you were crazy. We should have charged extra. Once you're buried? I'll pay my respects to Risha and collect what's mine. Goodbye, Captain. Hit it, men! You're either the luckiest shot in the galaxy or those were some seriously unlucky mercenaries. I guess I'll erase this hollow recording. Luck had nothing to do with it. Right. I'm supposed to believe it was your amazing reflexes? Look, I hate to cut things short, but I got a swanky new hyperdrive to install. Love that Arcanian tech. Take good care of the rest of my stuff, Captain. I'll be coming for it soon. Just find out what's happening. Sorry I'm late. The good news is, I tracked Skavik's ship to House Thule's spaceport. He must have gone there to finish installing that hyperdrive. There's still time to get him. I'll fly us to that other spaceport in no time. Throttle down, Captain. It's not that simple. The Empire controls House Thule. Skavik has landing clearance from the Imperials. But you'll have to sneak in on foot. Luckily, someone here owes me a big favor. I've arranged a meeting to sneak you inside that spaceport and get the hyperdrive. I can't wait to see the look on Skavik's face when I show up. Bring me back a hollow, and I'll broadcast it. My contact is at these coordinates. Oh, and there may be a way we can profit from this whole debacle. House Alda still wants the head. That pompous gasbag Pima Ehuf will probably pay anything to get it. I'll see what he has to say. He was willing to give up a custom-built Arcanian hyperdrive for that head. I suspect he'll say a lot. Good luck, Captain. I'll be waiting. <clears throat> uh, hello again, Captain. I understand Skavik has escaped. I was, uh, truly sorry to hear that. I still have your head. Got anything useful to trade for it? We got off on the wrong foot, didn't we? I apologize if I was rude before. You must understand, the head of Darth Bandon is a priceless artifact. He was the Sith Lord who murdered one of Alderaan's noblest sons. 
Centuries ago, Trask Ulgo bravely sacrificed himself in combat with Darth Bandon. Trask's martyrdom saved the Galactic Republic. What keeps the head fresh looking after all these years? When Darth Bandon ultimately fell in battle, Sith acolytes preserved and enshrined his head. Despicable people. Alderaan's current king is of the Ulgo family bloodline, and he reveres his ancestor Trask. The remains of Trask's murderer will be the perfect peace offering to our king. House Alda must have your head, uh, so to speak. This is a pretty weird peace offering. You don't have to understand the subtleties of our politics. Just know that it's vital we reach an agreement. Any payment in credits I give you for the head now will have to come from my own funds. I'm not a wealthy man. Please, I beg you, for the love of peace and posterity, please accept my offer of what little I possess. Keep your money. Peace and posterity are enough for me. You... you truly mean it? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I would kiss you, Captain, but I'm certain you would strike me for it. I must deliver this relic to the Baron at once. Thank you again. Chunky Faguta, Jiho Poda Gioto Vokise. What's wrong? You're too good to speak basic? Patoga Wata Kiko Uba Kiriwata Buki Donko. Se Gota Do Muti Kihasa da Punyo. Lis di Woto. Kupa Tonti Toki Maki Chisa Chubolo Wawuni. If I needed luck, I'd already be dead. Kabanotase Makipuna. Malituta Udmishka. Kichawa Joto do de Bita Tuta Ulya Nucha. Where's Skavik? I'd like a chat. Nakag Agib, Kik Benabab. Nea Agam Berakaki. Bumogala Apayan. Nilama imi amka anga? Naya narankam. Kala ama nani mami. Libig bak. Never drink with someone you don't know. Kala rikaham. Pamka maka inuk. Bragam nemya inubuyen. Kamamka amka nanya. Beraka karam kara. Ninyamak ora mag yang megik. You're not going anywhere until you junk Skavik starship for me. Nibaka klamka. Gakyam. Glak nimu amya galak. Fine. Get out of here. Pemka naya nugan. E jinim naya lak umnan mege. Thank the stars. We're in desperate need, and you're the only one we can turn to. Everything was fine when I left. I'm afraid events have quickly turned against us in your absence. Duke Bayliss was offended by your visit to our former home. He's demanding satisfaction. The Duke is sending his son, Zin Bayliss, Alderaan's finest marksman, to challenge me to a pistol duel to the death. Isn't House Organa protecting you? The Organas think we deliberately sabotaged their peacemaking efforts by attacking House Bayliss. They're refusing to intervene. My brother never mastered the art of the blaster. He can't possibly face Zin. Unless we find a champion to take Lin's place, he's as good as dead. Please, will you be our champion? Just how good is Zin? He's fought 25 duels to the death. In each one, he fired a single shot. Maybe he just got lucky. You could break his winning streak. You're about to see a real live hero in action. I knew we could count on you. Please, come to House Organa at once. Zin will arrive any moment, and you must be here to meet him. Just in time. We were, uh, <laughs> about to start without you. If you think the prospect of killing a woman bothers me, think again. She is, after all, not a lady. Silence your vile pet, or I'll have it sent to the zoo. Bodar's my friend. 
The only thing that belongs in a zoo here is you. Yes. I imagine someone like you has difficulty finding friends of your own species. You must be the vermin who invaded my family's home and stole our property. You've saved me the trouble of hunting down and executing you. I do pride myself on convenience. I pride myself on killing. You saved my brother's life. Not only that, you did it with style. Where did you learn to fight like that? It's all in the reflexes. Drat. I was hoping you could give me some pointers. There are no words to express our gratitude. This reward will have to suffice. I'm glad I was around to help out. The immediate danger has passed, but it's not over yet. My brother and I must flee House Organa. It's only a matter of time before House Bayless makes another move against us. Why don't you come with me? It's probably safer. Alderaan is our home. We must stay and restore our family's honor. Captain, we will always remember you as our champion. Farewell. I've never been so happy to see a starship hard in all my life, but I'm even happier to see you in one piece. That was the craziest run I've ever made. Then you haven't made the Varsunian run of Palking 14. I have to hand it to you, Captain. You not only took care of business, but you made Skavik look like a fool. I'm getting pretty good at tripping up Skavik. The only women Skavik understands are brainless tarts. You must be tilting his galaxy. I'm glad we're done here. It's funny. I can't help thinking Nokdrayan would have hated this world as much as I do. Legend is, Nok was descended from royal blood. They say that's how he got to be king of the galactic underworld before he died. How did this guy wind up warm food? Every spacer, pirate, and gangster from Abrogado Ray to Yavin has a theory. Some say he was shot in the back by a Rodian. Anyone who actually knew Nok will tell you that's ridiculous. Others say he was killed by his most trusted lieutenant. A few say he died in his sleep. I bet he went down swinging. Hmm. Nock was notoriously hard to kill. It won't take long to wire the Arcanian hyperdrive to the ship's engines and the anti-radiation shield will be a snap to build. Is there some reason I need anti-radiation shielding? You could never have too much protection. Didn't they teach you that in freighter captain school? I'll have those upgrades online in... wait. Hang on. Oh, this ought to be good. Hello, Skavik. How's tricks? Just fantasizing about killing you and your friends, sweetheart. Want to hear the details? Sorry I missed you at the spaceport, buddy. Haven't you learned yet, Skavik? Cheaters never win. We're leaving Alderaan with all the prizes, and you're... well... stuck being you. Have fun while it lasts, kids. The end of the ride's coming soon. You know that old saying, it never rains but it pours? Today it's pouring hollow calls. I'm getting one from Tatooine of all places. Jaren, I haven't seen you in forever. I'd love to catch up, but this isn't the best time. Someone took Aldila. Said I'll get her back in pieces if you don't come. Pieces! You have to help me. Is Guy a friend of yours? I've known him and his wife since we were kids. Jaren, I won't let anything happen to you or Adila. Calm down and start over. When I came home from work, uh, Ardila was gone. There was a man waiting for me. He said, unless you want to be responsible for Ardila's death, you'll meet him at an old Zerka mining complex in the Chini Rift. I don't understand, Risha. Why is this happening? It's a trap, obviously. But my odds of surviving and getting Ardila back alive are a lot better if you help me spring it. You better have a good plan. Duran, stay on this hollow frequency. Let me get in touch with some contacts. We have to play this smart. All right. I dug up everything I could about the Chini Rift and that Zerka mining complex. I'd say we've got a 50-50 shot at coming back alive. That's your idea of good odds? Considering how the rest of our trip has gone, it's not bad. Chini Rift has more holes in it than a chunk of bis cheese. The Zerka mining complex sits over a network of caverns. Zerka sealed the complex's mine shaft when they left, but didn't bother with the ore processing chute. You can use that to get inside. And then what? That man will kill Ardila if we try anything. I'll keep this mysterious kidnapper distracted by surrendering to him, while my friend sneaks up behind. I don't like this. Using women for bait? What kind of man allows that? You should at least wear a shield, Risha. It's a nice thought. 
But do you really believe the kidnapper will let me keep it? What can I do to help? Nothing. I am not explaining to Adila how I got you killed. Just wait outside and be ready to give her a kiss. I marked a route through the caverns to the ore chute, Captain. I'll give you a head start to get in position.